I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm sitting on a seat for once, and you can tell from higher. Um, I just, because I had this seat out for when I did my Zoom call, and I was wondering, hey, what if I film it like this? I had to film downstairs tonight because I probably could have gone upstairs, honestly. <laughs> I probably could have. Yeah, I could have, right? Because I, mean, I was thinking my mom's gonna go to bed, but it's like eight, like eight ten. So if anything, it's just fine. I'm just gonna see how that goes right now. If it's like lighting is absolutely awful, I'll change my mind. But so they did not have Star Wars. I was looking for Star Wars. Not that they had it. I keep saying, I always say that like when I don't get it, I admit it means they didn't have it. No, what happened was like with that Deadpool one that one time. They were like. Yeah, we can't put it through. Our systems are acting up. I get the supervisor in here tomorrow, and I'm like, great. So I was looking forward to Star Wars because you'll see. Well, you'll see tomorrow why I was looking for Star Wars. Anyways, let's get right on with it. This first map they say they didn't have. This is Ultimate Hulk versus Iron Man. Ultimate Human. Which I got to put in uh, Ultimate Iron Man next time. I had read that score issues. I had read the. Um, yeah, it's letting it. It's not too bad. Hopefully. Nah, I can still see everything. Um, I said red. I think I can flip it around. But I, I, can, I can always do a second cut. But anyways, I had read that um, Ultimate Iron Man by Orson Scott Card. This, one, this one's done by Warren, Warren Ellis, which I do like his writing. And yeah, apparently he's getting rehabilitated. Like he's gonna go back to DC or something. I, I vaguely it was something on Dear My Conditions channel. I didn't I didn't exactly know what they're talking about. But I hope it gets back into working. Like just the, the whole thing was very sketchy when even you know. Everything that came out, it's always, always very sketchy now, especially nowadays. So whenever I hear, oh, this person that seems to be all right is now not all right, I'm always like, well, maybe. I mean, sometimes, yeah, okay. There's alarming evidence, but for the most part, the guy seems okay. He's probably okay. But well, and I've heard, like, Warren Ellis, like, yeah, he wasn't. And, like, it was one of those things where um, it was kind of on both sides from what I hear. Like, he was a scumbag. He would use women. But the women were like, hey, you know, we can, until the Me Too movement comes out, we'll, we'll be okay. You know, it's not like, a, not like we were reluctant or anything. That No, we want this. So, you know. Uh, next one up is Seven Soldiers of Victory, Volume 4. Now, is this the last one? Let's see if it says anything. I'm not saying anything about being the final volume. I believe it is. I looked it up. Um... Cause I remember last time I was, I remember last time I was also pretty skeptical. Um, not skeptical. I was always I was surprised. Like I was like, oh yeah, this is the last one. Like I had done with Guardians of the Galaxy twice now. So I'm wondering if the same thing happened with Seven Slopes of Victory. You know the second, uh, reboot of Guardians of the Galaxy by the same creative team or at least the same author. I have no idea why they do that. Like you're telling me Guardians of the Galaxy wasn't silly enough. That is very sketchy. It looks, nope, it's the last one, volume four, so after that, I'll probably get nameless. I couldn't have gotten that this week. This next one up is Twig. Now, I had read the first three issues of Twig, because I had that on, yeah, the lighting is fine. I had that from Newberry Comics. They never had issues four and five. This, they said they had. This came in last last week. It was like a couple weeks ago, a couple, couple um, visits ago. They were like, yeah, we have it. Come, come get it. It's received. And I went in there, and they were like, oh, no, we don't. It was it was a glitch. It turned out to be a glitch on their end. It was the librarian that does the IOL, so I made a mistake. Um, so I got this about a two, two visits later. But I thought I'd never get it, which is nice. And this was from g Milks himself, too. But yeah, very eager to finish off the series. Um, so if you want my, like, a little quick review, my pre premature review before I actually finish the damn book, it's very kiddish. You can, your kid can read this just fine. There was no swears, no vi violent imagery. It's pretty um, kid friendly. I mean, look, look, look at the cover. And it's not one of those misleading covers either. Where, like, I know there's some. Oh, it looks like a kitty book, but actually, it's M rated. You know, because it, they like uh, they like to do that too. And I believe Image Comics has that too. I can't think of any of them besides maybe Rat Queens. But even that, I can't say. I mean, the covers look too kid kiddish. No Mercy Volume Three. Oh, three? I don't know. So this one's kind of funny. So I had wanted to go see a Garth Ennis one. Spoilers, two Garth Ennis ones. I had wanted to put in a Jimmy Palmiotti one because actually it's not a spoiler because I already showed that off. Um, the Garth Ennis book, one of them, Jimmy Palmiotti co-wrote with. Actually, two of them he co-wrote with. So I was like, you know what? Let's get a Jimmy Palmiotti book. 
I put it into late, so I had to put it into an ILL, or a Gmail, because I ILL all the books that come in. That's my rule. If all the ILL books are in transit, especially awaiting reply, reply from other libraries, I put nothing else in. I don't want anything coming in late. I already have a book that didn't come in that I'll tell you after. I'm very upset about. Oh, I can't tell you after, because I haven't showed it off yet, so I can't do that. I'll do that tomorrow. I know, all these rules. I, I, don't, I don't want to spoil it. Some of them are very interesting, and to spoil it now is kind of stupid. But anyways, I got in his Jetsons series. And I was like, you know what? Let's get the Flintstones along with it. This is written by Mark Russell. And this was the one I read before and I actually really liked. But yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's go the Hanna-Barbera route. I should probably put that in the ground, too, didn't I? Yeah. Do that in a minute. Ms. Marvel, Volume 7, Damage Per Second. Three more. There's ten volumes total. So yeah, three more out of this. Yeah, eight, nine, ten. I always think of it like an issue zero. So when you're so like zero through eight is nine issues, not eight issues. That's the way I do that sometimes. Or if it starts on issue twenty, twenty to twenty eight is nine issues, not eight. So I always like I always now second guess myself when I'm like, okay, I, and I know it's right, but this is basic. This is basic math. But you know, remember that time where we thought it was only four issues because it was twenty twenty five. It was six. Let's just make sure. You know, so. Here's one of the Garth Ennis books, Batman Reptilian. This is a reread. I liked it enough the first time. I actually got to grab the, uh, they have it single issues. So in that, you can see that door right here. Um, I'll, do a, I'll do a tour if I have enough time or if I can do it the right way. I, it's where I have my, no, I shouldn't have it in the basement in case of floods, but no. Um, I have my comics I'm going to sell. I should go through that one day, but I, the, the problem with that is that I'm not going to be doing it overseas or to a different state. I'm going to do it on any yard sale. You know, I mean, yeah, I have some pricier books that are in there. I feel like I'm never going to sell unless I sell them, like, on Instagram or whatever, or go back to OfferUp, or anyone, no, not even OfferUp. I've had better, I've had better luck on Instagram. But I don't like, I don't like having a ship, you know, I don't, I just, it's one of those things that, and I'm going to have to get PayPal, too, and I've heard so many bad things about PayPal. But anyways, Batman Reptilian, I, I like, I like this enough the first time I read it. It wasn't like a, oh my god, it's the best book I've ever read, Garth Ennis is back, baby. No, it was kind of like, yeah, it was good enough, you know. Maybe I should reread it, and that's why. Then we got Shutter Volume 3. It doesn't say it anywhere, are you kidding? Oh, right here. Volume 3. I'm pretty sure it's Volume 3, but I just want to make sure. So sometimes I'm one off or one behind, and I don't want to say the wrong volume. Another reread, and this is Superman Kryptonite Nevermore. This was one that kind of makes me angry because they collect material from a bunch of issues. So that's going to be interesting. It's really weird, too, because you do the math. It's 9 to 25. That technically was because that, that's like, here, I'll do, I'll do the math here oh, across the road. That was an Instagram. I, I should get, I have, for text, I have, um, yeah, 16 issues, 16 pages. And back then, oop, back then, you, sometimes the books would only run 17 issues, or 17 pages, or 16 pages, 17 including the cover. So, even then, like, I, I, I never went bad in an eye unless I looked it up. I think it actually said in the cover, 22 big pages. So. Now, this next one is one that I only got because it had my local library. It was one I was interested in checking out for the longest time. And had it been a mini series and had it been all in one, I would have gotten it when I was a when there was a one ninety nine sale for all the new D C books or pretty new DC books. I think it had to be at least a few months old. They wouldn't let you get anything from uh, just digitally. They wouldn't let you get anything for one ninety nine that was like a day old. And that is unless it was issues. And that is Superman's son of Cal L. I know. It's the one that everyone's been talking about. Now, I didn't want to buy this because I didn't hear anything good about it. And even if I do hear things good about these about it, like if you say it's good, if you say it's good, if you say it's good, I trust the people that say it's bad more than the people that say it's good. And they've shown examples of why they don't like it. So it's never... But I still want to check it out, you know? I still want to see what all the fuss is about. If anything, it's kind of like in that same mentality. When your parents say, don't do that, you're going to want to do it. Especially as a kid, when your parents said, don't do something, you did it. So it's the same mentality here. Except I don't get in trouble. <laughs> well, technically. The ones on the side now, let's do that. What's this one? 
Oh yeah, this one. Uh, this is a Peter Milligan book, and I put this in last minute. I'm glad I did because oh, I'm so glad I did. Oh my god, because I was I overcounted because I I'm missing two books: Star Wars and then the one I, that shall not be named until after. Um, and then Twig became a OGN because I'm starting to read those last two issues all all at once, just in a few minutes now. A few, few minutes here once I'm done filming. So I was like, eh, how many open thoughts do I have? But yeah, I put it in. This is The Names by Pierre Milligan. Did not get the best reviews, but neither the book that I'm going to be showing off. Spoilers, one by Peter Milligan. But the one I'm about to show off tomorrow, I do have, I, I want to do part one, part two. Because uh, I'm, I'm waiting on two books. But one I have is Peter Milligan, spoilers. And it's an image book and did not get the best reviews. But um, I like his writing. But yeah, I got this. This didn't get good reviews either, so if I like this, I like anything that Kill Milligan writes. It'll probably be the next war in Alice. No, who's the other one? Uh, of course, they can all be writers that I bought books from recently. Garth Ennis, not really, because I haven't read anything that got bad reviews from him. I can't think of it right now. Sean Lewis has one. Colin Bunn. That was the other one. Colin Bunn. I, I read like two things by Colin Bunn I didn't like Green Arrow, Volume 4, Through Rise of Star City. It looks a bit thicker. They get to make to make it pay more. Yep. Eighteen to twenty-five. So that's eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Eight issues. They said then you gotta pay twenty bucks. All right. I am, oh, this one! I am so excited. So 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 damn excited to finally get into Meredith Finch's. Wonder Woman run, starting with Volume Seven. Not only is this my first time reading this, because I, I I was never because back then, especially the I mean, didn't mean it like that way. Especially the first time I had read this, I was very on the fence about getting into books that got bad reviews. If it, if they both got a really bad reviews, I was like not getting it. But after a while, when you've read a lot of what the library has, even intro loans and Gmilks and all those, you're like, you know what? Well, let's strip the pot a bit, a bit, and let's. Do that. I think this it got pretty low reviews, but I mean, how much worse can it be than G. Willow Wilson's run? Come on now. Or I would say Becky Clunan's run. That's one that everyone hates, but I haven't read that yet. I'm talking about the ones I've actually read. My cat's right there. Uh, it's technically not my cat. No, what would you say? Maybe a family cat? That doesn't sound right. This one is kind of interesting. This is another Castle Grimoire. And you, as you know, if you saw my last video, it was smaller than your average trade. This is Angela um, Asgard's Assassin by Karen Gillan. But it's the same size. Very show off, maybe? I didn't, did I? Huh. It's not a Karen, Karen Gillan book. There's one coming up, but there's 24 panels. There's one. I don't know if I showed that already. If I did, I did. If I didn't, I didn't. But here's the Iron Man Volume 1 by Kieran Gillen. Did not like this too much the first time I read it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the whole entire run. And I might stop at Volume 1 when I like, because it was pretty long. I wasn't sure that my that G Milks had everything. And they do. And yeah, and I think by then, because I kind of like, I read all five issues, I did put everything in for intro loan. So I was like, I don't think G Milks has it. And I never looked it up. I guess I, I found it, so. I don't know what happened there. Doctor Strange and Dracula, the Montessi formula. Now, you guys might be saying to yourselves, why the hell did you buy this? You hated this run, or you hate, you hate this book. Well, I reread Dracula, that orphaned issue of Dracula that I had that I didn't like, and I re really liked it the most recent time I read it. So I'm hoping the same thing happens here. Link's the same guy, too. Is it all by Marv Wolfman again? At least the, um, yep, at least the Tomb of Dracula one. Steve Englehart does the other one. And Roger Stern does the 58 to 62. Which wasn't that included in the um, Doctor Strange Triumph and Torment? I feel like that was included in there. But yes, you got that. Uh, so, Prince List Volume 5. I think got uh, at least one more of this. Might be the last one, but I want to say one more of this. One to two more. Then you got Teen Titans Volume 2 of Adam Glass's run. I gotta remember, I gotta remind myself to put that into, uh, intro loans. Not that I really need to, but I really should, like, when I, when I write down, when I write down the books on my notes here, my phone, I should really order them by intro loans in G-Milks. I, I'm usually good about it, but sometimes I forget. 
Then we got Whistle. Now this one, I, just, I, I got distracted with my cat. I was gonna do like an introduction, like, oh, this one. So this one I saw advertised a lot on DC's, on DC books. Like say, World of, World of Krypton issue one. In the back of it, they'd, say they'd be advertising Whistle. And I just never picked it up. I'm just gonna fall over there. It's very hard to do because I'm here. Hey, I got him. Um, but Whistle, yeah, this is one that I, I kept seeing advertised. And I was like, I want to check it out. So is this, does this, I'm trying to read it all in one sitting, but this, does this go by uh, chapter? It does not. Okay. But yeah, these are, these are usually pretty, oh, no, I think it does. But these are usually pretty, it does. They're, they're usually pretty quick, though. Pretty fast paced. Oh, here's the book I was looking for, 24 panels. It was just hiding from me. But yes, I, I read this before. Now, the only re reason why I got this because it's kind of because the Liberty, um, not Liberty Mutual, but I mean, I'm just going to call it Liberty Mutual, a uh, comic book legal defense fund. That was the Garth Ennis book that I was, I thought I had to get because it was just a boy's, it was image, I was like confused, yada, yada, yada. And that's the ultimate anthology, so it was this. I was like, why not get this? I remember, like, liking this okay, but it wasn't, like, spectacular or anything. Yeah, no, no, another image comics anthology book. I think they named those recently, and I mean, I mean like an actual anthology, not like Monkey Meat, where it was the story. I mean, like stories, like it was an OGN. Everything's written by a different author. Like every like five pages or so, was written by a different author. I wonder if they have. Then we got Night Witches by Car Garth Ennis by Garth Ennis. Now this one, nowhere, and I mean nowhere, does this say this is part of Battlefields. I would have been none the wiser unless I had looked it up beforehand. And I wish I hadn't because now I'm like, oh, but like this, now I have to get, now I have to get all battlefields. Um, and, and I will, obviously, it's not like a big deal, but it's just kind of one of those things where I'm like, okay, I almost didn't get this because of that. And I was kind of stupid to not do that. But yes, this is a war comic by Garth Ennis. I'm usually not the biggest fan of those, but I liked parts of it when they do flashbacks in the war um, in Preacher. But e even Garth Ennis, I can't. Even Garth Ennis writing a war comic, I'm not too into. But if I like this enough, then, because it's certainly a war fan, but, war comics fan, but until then, I don't know what it is either. I mean, for the longest time, I wasn't into sci-fi, and now I'm super into sci-fi. Come on. I got, I got the last few books. There we go. Speaking of sci-fi and image, Copperhead. No, I don't know about image, but Copperhead Volume 2. Damn, damn good series continues. Next one is anything but good. Now, I almost, I swear to God, the last time, the, the last time, the, the time before that, uh, a few months ago, let's say, at Newbury Comics, I had seen this book at on their clearance section. I didn't get, and actually, the more I think about it, it wasn't in their clearance section. I just thought it would be. Um, I mean, I had a dream that it was, and just thought that dream was reality. But I thought they had, I was going to buy myself, Mother of Madness by Amelia Clark, this disgusting comic that everyone hates. I, again, like with Superman, Son of Kal-El, I want to see what all the fuss is about. And it's the three issues, too, so. How many are, how many of these are, like, four issues in, like, not a whole lot? The last two are from the library themselves, and they're both rereads, and they're both technically the last one in the series, well, not really. Um, and that is Sandman, the thickest volume yet, and the last of the Sandman series, and Avengers, the Children's Crusade. I'm pretty sure this is the last one, right? Let's see. It's not technically, but I mean, like, going by issue by issue, because then he had, like, spinoffs and whatever. Because Night Witch is included in the uh, back of this book. Uh, you, you guys can hop off if you want. I'm just looking it up for those of you who are curious. You would think it'd be right here. It's not. I look more intense. I gotta look, look more intense. Like look more, look a little better. There we go. Yeah, that's where it usually is. Sandman fifty-seven. Oh, it's not the last one. Oopsie. How can that be? I'm an idiot. I, Cause I got the last volume on Interloom, so no, this is the last volume. Sorry, it's the second to last volume. It's fifty-seven to sixty-nine. I know, a funny number. What you would think, a thick book like this would be the last volume. I think the 10th volume was the skinniest. It's like this big. Well, it has to be. It's like 70, 75. 
I know I was saying that the issue was a lot longer, but it's not that much longer than your normal issue. It's not like I, I don't think it was any more than at least 50 pages. But that, as I say, is that. We're already 20 minutes in. Wow. Gave myself a pat on the back. I went through 25 books in 20 minutes. No movies this time, obviously. Uh, that's about it. See you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Again, hopefully, for the next Golden Call. Let's look right now. See what see what's happening with the one of them. Because one of them is... Well, it's always shipped. One of them you'll be seeing is technically a third-party seller. I'll play the whole entire story when it comes. Nah, still ordered for that one. That's okay. That was a... Uh, oh, it should be okay. That's my, I was coming from the Massachusetts facility, which is where my next mine. But that, as I say, is that. See you guys tomorrow, hopefully.